My mom, uh, stay-at-home mom, she, she was a CPA before she was a stay-at-home mom. She really pestered me about things. She was very organized. Like, when you could look up your kids' grades online, that happened when I was like 13, and I'd walk home every day, she'd be like, what's this zero, what's this zero? <laughs> She's the type, were you a scrapbook mom? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, see, I got her, I got her. My mom did the scrapbooks. Did you, uh, did you go this far? My mom, she would keep everything as far, the other, uh, other week, she texted me out of nowhere. She's like, I was going through reminiscing and I found, I found um, all of your teeth. <laughs> did you keep the teeth? You have all of her teeth? <laughs> Do you have her hair too? Do you have her hair? Do you have her hair? A little hair. I mean, what are, <laughs> every white mom in Johnson County is like ready to clone their child. <laughs> I'm expecting a call any day. They're like, we've arrested your uh, mom. We think she's hiding a body somewhere. I'm like, well, belongs to me, actually. So I remember getting to college, uh, and Welcome Week was nothing but get-to-know-you games. And, you know, the, one of the first ones they do is the, you know, never have I ever. And so I was like, I'll, I'll go first, you know. Never, never got to first base. Anybody else, you know? And, uh, <laughs> and what is it, exactly? And they... Uh, it was a private Christian school, so they had neither. So you know, everyone. I remember playing the name game uh, at Southwest Baptist. Though it was harder than normal. There are all their names are Ezekiel, Judah, Daniel, and everything. You know, it was very tricky. And then I remember, you know, going around. It's just dumb icebreaker stuff. But you know, like, hey, all right. And now I want to know. We're going to go around. If you could uh, have dinner with any celebrity, dead or alive, which would you choose? I was like, definitely alive. You know. Uh, <laughs> That's a no-brainer. Just before we get started, we're about to do a fun live podcast. We wanted to give you all a little extra, extra bit of comedy. But uh, thank you guys for coming out because we haven't done, really done this and just uh, taking your time Wednesday night. So uh, give yourself a round of applause. Thank you guys. And please welcome the rest of the Correct Opinions podcast, Jake Triplett, and also my wife, Katie Kennedy. Give it up. Give it up. Let's do this. Correct Opinions. This episode is sponsored by BetterHelp. I've done therapy, a big fan of it. Uh, so if you're thinking of starting therapy, give BetterHelp a try. They're, they're changing the way it's done. It's entirely online, designed to be convenient, flexible, and suited to your schedule. We did premarital counseling. You used some premarital counseling? I did a little premarital counseling. I could tell. Mm -hmm. so you guys, your love's true and healthy. Let me show you guys something. Camera over here. Hey, this is your brain without therapy. And this is your brain with therapy. See how you couldn't tell? You never know what someone's going through. Yeah. Maybe encourage them to go through therapy because you can't see it from the outside. Just fill out a brief questionnaire to get matched with a licensed therapist and you can switch therapists at any time with BetterHelp. So try it out today. Get a break from your thoughts with BetterHelp. Visit betterhelp.com slash correct to get 10% off your first month. That's betterhelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash correct. Whoa, 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 whoa. Was that? What was that? You don't think that was... Shopify, do you? I think that was the sound of a new sale on Shopify. Shopify is nice. I've been using it. I've been really enjoying the tools that, like, the back end access it gives you. It'll tell you, like, how long people spend on your website, like, on average, like, minutes they've spent on there and, like, what they did, things they left in their cart. It's great. If you need to sell anything, I promise you Shopify has every tool That's right. you need. Whether you're just a garage entrepreneur or you're IPO ready, Shopify is the only tool you need to start running and grow your business without the struggle. It's not just for some little, you know, hey, I sell a couple of candles. It is for that. But it's also, you could power huge, huge businesses with Shopify, anything in between. So sign up for a $1 per month trial period at shopify.com slash correct opinions, all lowercase. Go to shopify.com slash correct opinions to take your business to the next level today. What's that link again, Katie? She doesn't need to say it. <laughs> Don't. Yeah. What's that link again, Katie? <laughs> it is. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it's the same as last time. <laughs> Correct opinions. Shop. I don't remember the beginning part. <laughs> I haven't been listening. <laughs> Shopify dot dot Correct com. opinions. Shopify dot com slash Correct opinions. I hope you're listening to this ad better than Katie is. <laughs> this is possibility powered by Shopify. You just zoning out over there. Is this isn't. Is this a joke to you? <laughs> is this a joke to you? Website is Correct Opinions. <laughs> Forget the link. She didn't know what like product we were just promoting. Yeah, I don't know. It could have been anything. <laughs> she checked out. We're still doing the podcast. Oh, okay, favorite okay. favorite <laughs> item is you. <laughs> okay. Well, can't sell that on Shopify. <laughs> <laughs> Not helping us at all. <laughs> <laughs>
I am clearly not listening. <laughs> <laughs> and then a mid indeed, and that's it. And then you're the ranchers. All right, let's do this indeed. Katie, you're going to do the entire indeed breathing. <laughs> I'm crying. <laughs> what? I'm crying a little. All right, indeed mid ad. What's a game where no one wins, Katie? The waiting game. Well, when it comes to hiring, you don't want to wait for great talent. You want to find them fast with Indeed. When you're hiring, you need Indeed. And instead of spending hours on multiple job sites searching for candidates with the right skills, Indeed's a hiring platform that can help you do it all. They attract, interview, and hire all in one place. They have powerful tools that find you match candidates like their instant match. Mm. Over 80% of employers get quality candidates whose resume on Indeed matches their job description the moment they sponsor a job. Uh, I've used Indeed to hire people. It's very helpful. Uh, like their instant match. You can invite Candidates to apply, and those same candidates are three times more likely to apply than people who just find you in search. So Indeed gets it done. So start hiring now with a $75 sponsored job credit to upgrade your job post on Indeed.com slash Trey. Offer good for a limited time. Claim your $75 credit now at Indeed.com slash Trey. <sighs> just go to Indeed.com slash Trey and support the show by saying you heard about it on this podcast. Indeed.com slash Trey. Terms and conditions apply. Need to hire? You need, need Indeed. Indeed. This episode is sponsored once again by my friends at Good Ranchers. Oh my gosh, I can't wait. I'm eating their meat so much, which, yeah, I mean that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I I mean, we have it all the time. Uh, we went and had like a football watch party. My friends know that I have it. Like, hey, if, if I grill out, will you bring Good Ranchers? Dude, it's the best. And they, they send me these big boxes of meat. So I'm like, I'm hosting dinner parties. I'm supplying the cook Labor Day cookouts. Say less. They have yeah. amazing, uh, amazing high quality meat. And they're offering a very special deal now, free ground beef for two years. All subscriptions to any box will receive a bonus two pounds of their high-quality Angus ground beef in every order for two years. That's a $480 value that all subscribers get for free. That is kind of crazy. Yeah, their, best, their ground beef is the best ground beef in the country. Um, you can also lock in their price for two years while securing your supply of versatile and quality ground beef for two years as well. They're not going to up the price on you Inflation proof. Sourced from small family farms, no antibiotics or hormones ever. Humanely handled, all the good stuff. Angus cattle, 100% American cattle. They even have some, uh, they have chicken, pork now. Yeah. They do pre-season chicken. Yeah, Just yeah. Toss that on I think it's Italian changer. seasoned. I've been doing they that They also a lot. have uh, the fajita. Mm -hmm. It's got a little Mexican. Abuela would like it. Mm, bueno. <clears throat> so use our code FAMILYMAN <laughs> to get $25 off any box. Use our code FAMILYMAN for $25 off any box at goodranchers.com. Um, their brand new subscription offer, free ground beef for two years on top of the discount. It's over 500 bucks off. Goodranchers.com. Good Ranchers, American Meat Delivered. Okay, we're doing the podcast. Hi, everyone. Awesome. Uh, this is great. We all good back there, our, our crew? Yes, sir, family man. Don't look at him. Don't look at him. <laughs> he was supposed to wear a mask, wasn't he? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, he's from Liberty. He doesn't wear masks. <laughs> yeah. Oh, easy, ma'am. Easy. <laughs> <laughs> I love. I mean, he's from a town called Liberty. Yeah, yeah. it makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you can hear us. Okay, we're good. We got the mic. We're good. Um, all right. That. Did you hear the joke? It was funny. Yeah, I heard. We got a mini. <laughs> I do this thing where I go, Katie. I wonder. Okay, show like sh watch this video. Or what do you think of this joke? And I, I'm so grateful she's honest, and she'll be like, I didn't love that one. I'll be like. What do you mean you didn't love that one? <laughs> and then I get angry. I know. I'm like, wait, do you want me to lie to you? Yeah. But you were kind honest. Of. But you were wrong. I was wrong. Wow. Well, that was probably the first time no, I've ever kidding. admitted that. So take uh, <laughs> uh, Okay. We're here. We're here. You've been this here. This is great. Is this your first time? or? I was, I was going to say, I actually, um, so this is the second time I've done stand-up on this stage before. The first time was probably, I mean, 2019, 2020. It was like, all right, we're going to actually go on tour. I need to you know, practice jokes, and it did not go like tonight did. Uh, there was not like a hundred really friendly people in the audience. There were, I was standing right here, and there were seven people sitting right here. They were all just other comedians waiting to go. Very different, uh, just demographic than what you would see at a Trey Kennedy show, I would say. <laughs> just going into it, I'm like, this is not gonna be helpful at all. And it was confirmed when the guy before me did, you only get three minutes, and all three of his minutes were about how he wanted to make out with Jesus. And I was like, okay. And I'm thinking in my head, I'm like, well, I was planning on saying I wasn't allowed to watch Harry Potter when I was a kid, so that's gonna be a little different. And, but that's what it's like. I mean, the open mic grind is like horrible, and it's not helpful, and it's not fun. Yeah, I mean, you, I was lucky because I, the whole videos thrust me into it, but when I, Jake, you, 
he was just filming for me and editing, and I was like, do you want to be a comedian for me? <laughs> like, which, in hindsight, is kind of insane, but I mean, I, I knew you could do it, but <laughs> the, you, I had the fortunate... I was fortunate enough to just have like an agent put me on a show, but you had to come show up and like, yeah. It was really nice of you. You're like, hey, you can hold the camera pretty steady. Would you like to do stand-up hey. comedy? Yeah. <laughs> I see it, I see it. <laughs> and at first, I think the, uh, the pitch was to be a DJ. I was like, dude, I have Spotify, that's great. I can do oh, it. Wow. I don't think I knew that. Do you remember? Because you've like DJ J. You were like a <laughs> DJ for a minute. I mean, well, you kind of did at weddings and stuff. Yeah, did yeah. you have a DJ name? I did not. I went by just my born Christian Jake. name. Jake. Hey, Jake's here. Uh, I got spotted by premium. You mean Jacob. Jacob. Yeah, Jacob. Yeah, yeah if it was in a church. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I DJed a couple weddings, and I DJed a father-daughter dance one time. And so I think Trey kind of heard kind of murmurs. <laughs> yeah. 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 He's like, all right, let's get, him, let's get him on tour. And then DJ turned into comedian. So That's awesome. Anyway, have you been here before? I have. I've done some shows here. It was a good time. I, I hopped on some shows with some comedians. It's a, uh, it's a good spot. Yeah. You know. Was the couch here when you performed? <laughs> no. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. <laughs> shout out our team. We just moved it out here from the green room. It's a nice vibe. It's comfortable. Very lay comfy. Down. You, you comfortable? Yeah. Do you guys mind if I just lay down? Just new mom. <laughs> Take a little nap. Weird. New mom. Um, what? Is it, we, to baby Thomas. He's asleep. We're yeah. Good. He's asleep backstage. Um, last time I was here, actually. I was pregnant with him, and I was sitting in the very back corner eating pretzels, trying not to throw up. <laughs> oh, so. mm. she, uh, yeah, I, I did two shows here one night, and the first show I came off back there, and I was like, I'm so funny, yes! <laughs> and then I did the second show, I was like, maybe none of that was funny. <laughs> It's the ups and downs of it all. So y'all just made us. Y'all are great, man. Y'all made us feel good. What? Yeah, that was good. Stand up is so interesting. I feel like I have all this adrenaline before performing, and then what, I get so geared up just to stand still for thirty minutes. It's very yeah. weird trying to figure out what to do with all this energy, you and then you get off stage and you feel so good too, mm -hmm. and I have to sit there and listen to you for an hour. You know. <laughs> I, I don't know what you should to do. try flailing around. <laughs> It feels it's a good really good time nice. to work out, maybe like a new routine after you get off stage. Work out, just do work my out. Routine. Yeah. I do like that. Recently, it shows Trey. I will come off stage, or just even before I'm about to go on stage. Trey has started stretching before. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Single, like, trying wow. to be a physical comedian still. I don't know. When you hit thirty. When yeah, seriously. <laughs> yeah. We uh yeah we came back here and we we did we dropped off Thomas somewhere so we were, we drove down with the baby and it was all good. What, and on the, he's, he's great. We said like six months, but on the way here for like five minutes, all we heard back there was <laughs> 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 and it just pooped it everywhere. You're just like, please don't be on the car seat. Yeah. <laughs> That's a wild new experience. She knows she's, she's a, she's a mother of one. How old is Oh my yours? gosh. That's so impressive. Yours? 15 months. 15 months. Just started walking, which is why I'm tired. Started walking. Yeah, you're tired. Wait, who? We had a big uh, stay-at-home mom supporter back there. Yeah, what's your name? What's your name? Maddie. Maddie, how many kids? Two. Oh, she cut. Wow. She you came. met one of them. <laughs> <laughs> how old are they? How old are they? Well, you know one of them. Oh, Matt, have you? I think. I, what's wait, going what's on? his name? Yeah, it's you. How old's? It's the little boy, right? Aiden. Aiden. What is he like? Ten months now. He just turned one. He just turned one. What's going on? Yeah, yeah. I can explain. <laughs> fill me in, <laughs> and then fill Katie in. Me first. We've done uh, we've done several local shoots, and she's she's always here. Oh. <laughs> she has and nothing going uh, on. Yeah, she's been uh, like the first three times I was like, what a supporter, and now I'm like, let's keep an eye on her. <laughs> 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 Husband's here tonight? What's your name, dude? Kyle. Kyle. Yes. <laughs> what's the kid? Aiden, and what's the other? Isabel. Isabel and Aiden. That's so cute. Okay, Good. Thank nice. you all for being here. Thank you, guys. Thank you all you guys for being here. We're going to have a fun time. Um, and we're just, we, we had a great week last week. We did a traveling. We road tripped, which road tripping, I posted a little on social media. People loved it. Like, we were road tripping. First road trip since he was like two months. So it's kind of like, that's easy. He's just like asleep and yeah. we had to drive just a few hours. Mm -hmm. But we, we were like 10 minutes down the road and he lost it and needed to be like consoled. And we were just like in a Jimmy John's parking lot as she, like I joked Literally about, just a like mile away nursed from our house. in a Jimmy John's parking lot. 
It took. It was like a three and a half hour drive that took six hours. Oh my gosh. And the parents know, um, but it was we successfully did it because we've joked on the podcast. We uh-huh. kind of our class when we get in a car for hours. That's what Katie likes to really dig in when I'm like I can't escape. You know? <laughs> I'm in the confines <laughs> of a car. The fight like, pod. That other week you said the thing, and we really <laughs> it was a pleasant road trip. We did good. It was. I think it's because like we we preface it so much like uh, we're gonna fight, we're gonna fight, and then you don't fight. Right. Yeah. But but then we got home. <laughs> I saved it all up. <laughs> Did you see? I feel like I have a I have a strategy for you, Trey. Next time Katie is upset at you, oh, um, all ears. Yeah, I kind of got <laughs> marriage figured out. Well, Mitch McConnell had another. <laughs> frozen kind of experience like uh, last yeah, week did. or something he froze again it was sad like some woman tried to come up and help him and she tried to blame everyone she's like speak up so we can hear you next time and it's yeah. like I mean the guy he had another stroke and so anyway I think my <laughs> thought for you is like hey he's getting away with it why can't you get away with it yeah. so it's almost kind of genius he asked don't... him a tough question and he's just like <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's what I should do. Why don't I, I be Katie and okay, you be okay. yourself and try to, get, try to get out of it, okay? So, uh... Katie, you know what? No, uh, hold no, on. No. I need to say I uh, wor- I, earlier you tonight... You have any idea what it no. takes to make a TikTok? You have and no idea. Maddie, Algorithm? something's going on with you and Maddie. No, I don't like that. No. I don't explain I'll that. See how you know her kids. I don't... <laughs> Explain it. How do you know her kids? <laughs> Please. I would love to. <laughs> it's great. You're out of it yeah, now. Yeah, you're out. You're out. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I had a stroke. Yeah, that, that's exactly what I would think. <laughs> Sorry for the people so sitting funny. literally behind us. It was really funny. Yeah. Yeah. You heard. <laughs> yeah. It was great. Oh, man. No. We, we don't. Uh, you've been married six months? Long time. Three. Three. <laughs> yeah. What's, uh, y'all, so I, it's funny, when we were together, there was, uh, the first bit, you know, I would brag, I'd be like, yeah, we don't really fight, mm-hmm. we don't, are you still in that phase? Yeah, I would say so. I don't think we've had anything come up that we haven't been able to resolve in like five minutes in like a conversation. So, so far so good. You'll be amazed. <laughs> I, would, I was so confident, I was like, dude, we're just best friends, we're so good. We will, oh my gosh, I'd be like, are we good? Are you like... <laughs> We, well, we, you have a kid. I, we, we drove past like a little Mexican restaurant on the way here. I was like, remember we went there one time? We just, mm-hmm. one night yeah. we were like, let's go there. I was like, we can't do that again for 20 years. <laughs> we have to so plan dramatic. it. <laughs> Which I, it's great, but we had a wild week last week. Thomas uh-huh. was sick. Yeah. It was our first experience with a sick baby. Which... Yeah. This was sad. I forget how to like. He woke. He woke up like three times a night because he wasn't feeling good. And I'm like, oh yeah, we did this, but nothing was expected of me during the day. Last time he did this. Now I have to function like an adult. So. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We because you just they sleep all day. This morning he woke up at. He slept for the night for the first time in a few weeks because he's been sick a couple a week or so, and it was like 6:30. And, and typically we're used to like he'd been up all night, and she's gracious to do that. And she'll go back, he'll watch sleep. She's like, he's awake for the day. Uh, she laid him next to me. And he was just like, ah! He woke up with some energy today. Kind of the anti-Mitch McConnell. Yeah. Uh-huh. We're, we're, we have high hopes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he but could be something. Yeah, we're good. Though. Uh, when you were talking about your road trip, can you explain a little bit more while you, why you were in the passenger seat and Katie was driving? I know that That's really great... fired people up. Thank you. Passenger yeah. I posted. Princess. <laughs> I was getting called passenger princess, yeah, which I never term you know this? No, I never heard this. that. Girl, all girls know this. Yeah, passenger princess, right? It's unbelievable. Oh. Okay, what? Your couple? Your couple? <laughs> Siblings? Sorry, hey. that was the one, <laughs> the only one. Couple? Do y- y'all married or y'all been together a while? Yeah, we're married. Thirty-five weeks. Married. Thirty. Oh, oh, no, no. no. <laughs> That's pretty early. Do y'all, y'all split driving or you're. She Ooh. does the majority of Okay, respect. <laughs> Passenger Prince, bro. <laughs> I don't know I was getting heat for this. It was like, she she can drive? Should we try? I'm a big advocate. We kind of both were like, you drive. Yeah. <laughs> None of us are like, I like, I love yeah. it. 
<laughs> like it's your turn. Yeah, for sure. Um, we split. But I, I kind of played myself because he was bad on that drive, so I found myself in the back, like <laughs> for for hours. Um, yeah, I know. I was getting. Do you, do you drive? I would say I almost always drive on the way. Uh, Rachel and I went to Iowa for Labor Day, so we drove back Monday evening. Had a fantasy football draft. Pulled over. Rachel drove. It was really nice. Yeah. I get it, dude. I get it. That's yeah, nice. Man. Yeah. I'm gonna have a lot more fantasy football drafts uh, coming up. Yeah, I don't know. There's one in the middle of the season. I don't know. I gotta. I gotta ride shotgun. Yeah, I will. Say, I really, I really zone out when I'm passenger though, which she doesn't like. Yeah. Every girl does she does does she do this? Why does every girl drive like this? Yes. Rachel asked if she's like, next time I drive, can you move the steering wheel up? Because I want to be able to put my yeah. foot behind my head, basically. <laughs> I'm like, I don't know. Everyone, everyone. You gotta get comfy, you know. I don't know what it is. It's weird. The man. last thirty minutes of the drive, Rachel is is trying to drive, and she's doing this. She's like, my hip, it's just so tight. My from hip, having uh, to keep it. I'm having a contraction. <laughs> <there>. <laughs> I mean, it killed her having to keep her legs where everyone else keeps their legs when they drive. She's like, I just can't. I've never had my legs so just on the ground for so long. Oh, my gosh. My hip. That's, That's a good observation. The girls, yeah, they get after oh, it. Oh, they get after it. I'll never understand. Even in the passenger seat, though, too, right? I feel like yeah. we like seat. to kind of put it on the dashboard. Yeah, Rachel's feet are never yeah. on the ground. Like, she'll, yeah, she'll like, do this. Yeah. yeah, floor is lava. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Floor is lava. Why is that? I just thought you were weird. Uh, no, everyone's doing it. Huh. That's good. Rachel, Ra- Ra- is, she, is she, f- she flexible or no? I prefer, I don't, don't want to comment on that. <laughs> Raise up your hands, you're flexible. It's <laughs> <laughs> not what I'm. <laughs> was... I'm going to go Mitch McConnell. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That is the appropriate time to do that. <laughs> You know what? You know what? We're entertainers. It's <laughs> part of it. Got myself in a weird spot there. But <laughs> all good. Fantasy football. Yeah. Fantasy football. You, yeah. You, your guy do fantasy football? Just draft. Just wow. draft. Did all the drafts happen in the past two days? Oh yeah. You gotta. You can't be too. Travis Kelsey Travis blew out his knee yesterday. Yeah. You gotta wait. You gotta be patient. We hope he's okay. Feel good about the team. Uh, oh, doesn't man, seem too confident. I know, man. <laughs> he doesn't drive. You know, he's d- probably not even the owner of his team. <laughs> yeah. Uh, like, oh. Any, any. <laughs> you do fantasy football. Same league or different? Different. Different. You got a women league. Wow. You're What's going on? Are you like wow, really okay. into it? I'm getting the vibe here. Like... I drive. I got two leagues. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I guess you're really into it. Uh, kind of. Kind of. I don't know. We got any other girls in leagues? We got girls in fantasy leagues. Oh, yeah, we got one right here. Two, Two leagues. leagues right there. Wow. Okay, what's your name? Sydney. Sydney. Let's Sydney. go. What's your, what's your fantasy team name? Um, well, my first one is I've got um, Herbert as a quarterback, so it's Herbert Gold Chiefs. 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 Okay. I thought you were going to go with the Sherbert route. Good for you. Nice, nice, nice. Well, I mean, I'm nameless because I got a bunch of late changes. <laughs> nameless, okay. Nameless. That's nameless. cute. Work, work shop on it. Cool. Yeah, we'll figure it out for you. I, Katie got invited to do a... Does Rachel do a women's she, league? She... Uh, it, it's co-ed. Um, co-ed. But, yeah. Yeah, a women's Very league. Very nice. <laughs> it is, uh, yeah, a women's league. They get 70% less of the players to choose yeah. from. So that's, that's why good. she can't think of a name. Yeah. All the yeah. good guys are taken. Um, yeah, Rachel drafted last night uh, in a league, and it was so funny. Like, the passion that was there, but it's just hollow passion. It's passion with, like, no knowledge of what to be passionate about. Yeah. So it was, like, time to draft a kicker, and she was like, whoo, Jay Elliott or Waiku? What yeah. do you think? You know? mm. I think Jelliot. I bet he has a good season. And I'm like, yeah. a kicker doesn't really matter. She's like, nah, I'm drafting. Hold on. He has uh, a nice smile. <laughs> yeah, a look nice at smile. him. Yeah, I was like, Rachel, you can't just draft all the white guys. Okay, yeah. you got to. Yeah, you do. That's a bad look, for sure. Just Katie got asked to be part of a group, and I kind of, I know her, so I was like, you're not going to keep up with that. But also, I was like, let me, let me have my thing. Mm-hmm. Do, you want, do you want your girl to be a part of it, or do you want to have your thing? I think um, Rachel's at a, in a good spot, is a good balance. If it was like, what's going on over here, I'd be a little nervous. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Can't have more leagues than me. She's, okay. <laughs> she's out there on the weekend like, hold kicks for me. I'm punting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like Amazon package shows up. What is that? Shoulder pads. <laughs> I don't know. It's got to be fun to watch a game yeah. at them. 
Yeah, that's right. I'm mobulating 12 days straight. <laughs> Put the helmet on. <laughs> Hilarious. <laughs> it was! <laughs> Oh man. <laughs> um, okay, should we should we get to uh, a few segments? Yeah, that's right. I have a uh, dramatic reading for us. A little something I found on no uh, kidding. What'd you, what, on what, Facebook. Give us the breakdown. This is a uh, just the mo- a mom, just a classic Facebook post. Pic- you know, it's at the top of your feed, and you've never seen this one before. It's like I don't know how this is brought up, but if it's at the top, you know, probably a lot of comments, good engagement, and uh, yeah, you can see why there's a lot of comments. So this is just some random woman that I probably knew in high school or something. Ooh, Family man, Facebook. can we get some uh, dramatic music, please? <clears throat> this is Facebook. This is Facebook. You're on Facebook? Yeah, I do get on Honestly, the problem is it's on my home screen, and so then I, the notifications pop it up. still gets me in there. Uh, uh, yeah, I got to like get out of it. Derek, can we get on Facebook? <sighs> um, I forgot my password and haven't logged in since. Oh, this really? is good. Do you, who's <laughs> like this? She's got... She makes up a unique password for all 600 websites she signs up for. <laughs> Why? It's a nightmare. That's oh, she crazy. Know no oh, one is like, going to get into my stuff. <laughs> like, ba- like, the, ba- like the, Pel- the Peloton account. What is it? Should be like, I buy oh. one, two, three. <laughs> oh, we got it. Oh. Okay, here we go. Thank you, Derek. And action. action. This is a good choice. This is nice. I have a nine month old who keeps throwing food on the floor from her high chair and her drink cup. I've asked her many times and tried explaining to not throw food on the floor, and she just stares at me right in the eyes with her hand hanging it there and then does it. It's irritating, because I know she's hungry, but I took her out of the chair the other day and explained we were having a little time away from the food and she could go back to it after. I then put her back in five minutes later. She scoffed it. She scoffed at it and threw a couple more bits on the floor. (laughs) Also, when she's done having her drink, she'll throw it on the floor from her chair and then stare at it and still want it. What a dumb baby. (laughs) Yeah. I will try and show her that she doesn't have to throw it on the floor and she can just put it in the cup holder a bit uh, for when she wants it again, but then she'll just throw it again. It's all complicated. How can I teach her and explain to her at nine months old, please? Or will it always be this way? I mentioned it to the HV What's that? I don't know That's what that is. That's where you get your driver's license. In. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, mentioned, I mentioned it to the HV at her nine month review the other day, but she was more interested in stopping us co sleeping. <laughs> Thanks. Good post. Wow. I'm not a parent, so I don't know what to do. Do you right. have any thoughts? I mean, that sounds normal to me. That's, well, cr- yeah. that's, that's too bad. Mom, you get, do you sense the frustration? <laughs> yeah. I mean, when I tell Thomas, can you please stop pooping in the car <laughs> on the way to places, he just does it again. It's uh, not. It's like not that complicated. It's like they're not listening. <laughs> yeah. I get it. It's a wild I pose. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. It's like just picking up a toy. Don't drop it again. <laughs> I'm saying it in plain English. And you know what? You haven't paid rent in nine months. All right? Yeah. <laughs> Enough's enough. I love the very end. Put it in the cup holder. Put it in the cup holder. What was the very end? Uh, The the HV, the doctor was more interested. What's HV? I think she meant to put HP, healthcare provider. E. Oh, good. Good, good. yeah, nice. Yeah, we have a nice, good job. Okay, good translation. I thought you were going HPV. I thought it was going to get weird. Yeah, (laughs) HIV. She she can't hold on to her food. Does she have HPV? (laughs) (laughs) What's the problem? (laughs) I like it. What was the very end say? 
uh, at her nine month uh, review the other day, but she was more interested in stopping us co sleeping. Co sleeping. And there is an emoji. I don't know how you would describe it. It's like a. Can you do it with your face? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Like there's like a cloud next to the mouth. So like blowing out air, tired. Yes, yes. (laughs) This one. Co-sleeping. Is that how it is? Yep, that's exactly what I was... Co-sleeping. That's when the baby sleeps with you? Mm Mm-hmm. Co-sleep. Did you you co-sleep? No, no. Did you you co-sleep? You did. Both, still. Still? Are you serious? You've you've slept with the babies the whole life? She's only two. You might want to talk to your HPV. Yeah. (laughs) She's only two. (laughs) No way she's keeping her food in the couple. Yeah. (laughs) That's going to be awesome when she she grows up to college and you sleep in her dorm with her. That's going to be really cool. (laughs) Yeah, guys, I was raised to go sleep. I can't help it. This is my mom. That's the best part of becoming a parent is now you can like you get to like judge everyone doing it differently. Because everyone does it, yeah, their yeah, own way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because um, some people, yeah, you know, they co sleep. Do you sleep train? Do you sleep train? Do you do the whole thing? No. no. When you, it's like half. Half. Half train. <laughs> Caboose. <laughs> Trailed off. He resisted. Oh yeah. He wasn't listening to you. Yeah. Huh. Our, uh, our child wasn't obedient, so we stopped. So. <laughs> it wasn't worth it. What do you think people say about us, Trey? I don't know, because we... I mean, I'll be honest. I was a big... Which I'm sure, especially men are like, I'm like, hey, we're military style. We're gonna, I'm a baby sleeping. I don't care what we have to do. <laughs> just lock them in a room. But, you know, I wasn't willing to do all that. But Shocker. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> we let them cry a little... But it is hard. But there was one night we let him cry for like five minutes and then he stopped and went to sleep. I was like, right. <laughs> we Figured. cracked the car! <laughs> <laughs> that didn't really work, but <laughs> it's wild. But um, we did, because y- y- y'all had the baby sleep with you. Do you, from like day one, they slept in your bed? Sort of. Sort of, yeah. yeah. Well, it's terrifying because you hear horror stories of like, because if they're yeah, not quite old enough, you could scary? like smush them. So when they're newborns, no, not in the bed. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Bassinet, okay, okay. Just like, like hanging on top of like, it. You what? You like what? Those revolutionary war guns? You're not. Yeah, she, she's like, I'm not crazy. <laughs> Bassinet, yeah, it's, uh, it's like an old musket, isn't it? It takes a long time to reload. Yeah. It's cool that she slept on that. <laughs> mm-hmm. Battle of Westport. Yeah. <laughs> uh, That's cool. I'm going to get to know you guys after this. <laughs> For some reason, we heard a. I know new parents always have these nightmares. We we heard a horror story of you know a ba- like some poor some distant connection of like you accidentally roll over and kind of smother the kid. Hor- horrific. And so we both like on a weekly basis woke up in the middle of the night still. like. He's <laughs> Literally still. The other night I did it twice. Twice, and I, I put her in a headlock. I was like, you're fine. You're fine. <laughs> Do not wake me up again. It's weird. He's like big. I don't. It's very it's weird. weird. You get these weird. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. How many kids y'all have? Two. You have two. What age? Five and three. Five and three. Yeah, you get. And it, you guys yeah. had those nightmares also. Yeah. Really weird. You it's get, so it gets weird. lodged in your mind, man. I d- uh, there was one time the other night. I I, I happened to roll up next oh, yeah. to her, and I thought her shoulder was uh, our son's head, and I was like, <laughs> "What's he doing in the? Back? <laughs> Why is he in here?" My shoulder She's has like, little like hair on it, just like yeah, that. yeah, yeah. <laughs> her head, and then I, the armpit it drools. Like, it, yeah, yeah. Rachel and I don't have to worry about like a dream of like of a smothering someone else, but we have uh, we we put ourselves to the test. We might have been engaged, I think, but we <laughs> all couples do this, I'm sure. We tried to suffocate each other with pillows just to see if it works, <laughs> right? <laughs> Tempur-Pedic you can breathe through. Yeah, yeah. Couch pillows at our house, you're going to be just fine. So, let's, yeah, let's if someone, like, really pushes on you, yeah, you can still breathe. Bassinet. Bassinet would be tricky, yeah. But just those tests. You got to do before you get married. <laughs> Sounds, yeah, um, super normal. Okay, I want to, we, this also happened authentically as we were on our way over here. Katie, um, 
You guys, push present. Y'all are familiar with the push present? I am no. not. Uh, so there's this new trend coming around. A, a woman gives birth. Push. Push. A so, lot so, more pushing With you that. so far. Yeah. <laughs> and you get a present. You're like, you push it oh, out. Oh, push a, present. I know that's what you said earlier, yeah, but now it clicks for like, <laughs> The whole thing. So and, weird. you know. People start asking me, "What's the push present?" I'm like, "I don't the the child, the baby, yeah, yeah, yeah. This, this, a healthy this boy, little much, yeah." And she starts talking about the push present. I want this, that. She kind of forgets about it, and she brought it up literally on the drive here. <laughs> and Lily. we uh, we uh, we Lily might need a little Judge here? Jake. We might need some Judge Jake. All right, okay. Ready for yeah. some Judge Jake, y'all. We right ready? now? Okay, let's do it. Okay, push like presents. Here's my sign. <clears throat> she brings it up because the way we do gifts, every every couple figures out the way they like to do gifts. We're not a surprise me couple. I'm like, I know what I want. She does what he wants. Your birthday comes around. You just buy what you want. And it's from me. <laughs> and vice versa. That's how we do it. And so she's like, the push present. We do, I'm not going to show up with something. She's like, I'm going to get it. And I'm like, well, I don't know. if like, I think that's a little much. She's like, I made this, ba- you know, this, this Ooh, whole, the yeah. whole, you know, I support women, but to yeah. an extent. It's <laughs> like this whole, I, I <laughs> made the baby. I pushed it out. I dare and I, I was just like, okay, what? She's like, I want this beautiful ring. And I'm going to, every kid, I'll do this little band. So on this finger, I'll have, you know, however many. And uh, Judge Jake, I just think, you know, what, what gifts better than, than, a, than a human being? Okay. Right? So. It, so um, is it a, well, Katie, let's, let me hear your sign. Feel free to clarify the details of this ring. Mm-hmm. Big jewelry guy now, so. Ah, you understand the ring. Mm-hmm, I get Isn't it. Isn't it nice to have something on your hand that you will forever oh, wow. wear? Look at her appealing to <laughs> so the, the tone of changes. It does. <laughs> this is kind of a sales pitch. Got into it so far. Keep going. <laughs> that you will always look down and remember, like you're married to Rachel, and this is a special thing that I'm gonna have on the, my finger for the rest of my life. Wouldn't that be so sweet to have that on my hand for each child that I birth? Okay. <laughs> I hear ya. So is it gonna be its own ring or is it a band added on to something else? It's just a band that I'm gonna wear on the other hand. So not I'm not looking for a large diamond or anything, yeah. just I, a, ju- I know you haven't witnessed it. It's not that bad. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think that I think that I I'm gonna have to drive have, home. <laughs> I think I should have uh, maybe asked for this, you know, the day after, not six months later. I think I yeah. would have been received a little bit better um, after witnessing what I did. Um, but you know, my argument is I'm gonna wear it forever. You know, Whoa. and what what fingers stay in this? Oh. I think I hear the old pushy. He <laughs> Who's that? The baby screaming? Get him yeah. out of here! <laughs> He's he was screaming, Dad. Yeah. <laughs> Dad's right. <laughs> that was not what he was screaming. <laughs> and you know, he was nine pounds, five ounces. So oh, we should factor in the weight of the baby. I think it was extra work. And I do like the idea of a sliding scale based on the baby's weight. Yeah. It's like how yeah. nice of a push present. Yeah. 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 yeah, if the next baby is like smaller, like less diamonds is fine. Oh, but so there are diamonds now. <laughs> oh. Whoa, no, whoa. That changed. <laughs> okay, so that's slide a that in much. there. But um, I mean, it doesn't have to be. I did pick out a nice one that does have some small ones. But okay. again, I'll wear it forever. <clears throat> okay, Trey, let me she, ask you this. What did you do? Do you feel like you deserve a push present? He does. He does. <laughs> Thank you for thank you for honoring me and seeing me in this. Yeah, I slept on a cot <laughs> for how long? Two nights. Oh my gosh. <laughs> my my back hurt. Yeah. Well, was it was it like a tempur cot? No. Oh my gosh. You would easily smother someone. The cot couch. Up. And I was couch. night two. I was like I was screaming <laughs> epidural. <laughs> no one would help me. Oh my gosh. <laughs> So yeah, think about that. <laughs> Thank you for asking. Yeah, I think uh, I think Katie gets uh, a ring. You guys will have to decide. It's a sliding scale. The baby's weight determines how nice the ring is. But also Trey gets, um, I-, I think, s- a free massage for every night he had to sleep on the cot. 
Not from. Do, uh, do I have to perform? No, not from you. Like from <laughs> like a masseuse from, or from her. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. You guys can co-sleep. Um, <laughs> not. Haha. Uh, just kidding. <laughs> uh, jokes. Jokes. Just a joke. Sorry. Uh, okay. Well, that's good. He that's has some ruling. massage envy um, <laughs> gift cards. Massage envy out. gift cards. Yeah. Nice. You got it. All right. <laughs> there we go. There you have it. Um, what do you? What do you? What do you got next? We got. Well, honestly, speaking of massages, can I do a quick triggered? Yes. Just, just real quick. A if that's se- okay. Let's get triggered. What's okay. Seg- oh, uh, I got one. I got one. Go ahead. These are minor triggerings, but one is just the massage thing. Rachel got me a free massage gift card uh, at Christmas. And I haven't used it yet. I was going to use it last week. Go to the website, Solera Salon and Spa. Anyone been to that here in Kansas City? A couple people. Someone said trash. trash. Okay. <laughs> no happy ending. He works for Massage Envy, yeah. their competitor. <laughs> you know what? They might be trash. You go on the website, feel free to look around, and you try to book an appointment. The only option is book a tour. I'm like, well, I don't know if what I need is a tour. <laughs> I was just on the tour. Just keep opening doors and the, just <laughs> naked people. That yeah. person's getting a massage. They're about to. They're that in the middle of it. That person's getting what? <laughs> they just got done. Um, so I was like, I don't want to book a tour. The entire website is set up for you to be like a like a third party, like an outside like vendor there. Like, hey, do you cut hair? Do you like waxing people for a living? Yeah. Come work for Solera. Book a tour today. See where you could work. There's no possible way to book anything here. Uh, there's, there's this tiny little part on the website, trash, and where you can book an appointment. The three options are like wax, uh, hair coloring, or I don't know, something else, hair styling. Like, which one is massage out of that? Yeah. I don't know. That is, uh, it's very intimidating. And it is wax? Okay. That's what I signed <laughs> yeah, up for. Yeah. Um, so I have called them four times, left them three voicemails. Yeah, they're like, you think it's a massage? Like, and what do you want wax? You're like, full body. <laughs> Yes. Feet is my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I get a little ticklish in the back. So just, <laughs> I don't know. Um, but yeah, so I keep calling them and leaving them voicemails. And each voicemail, I get a little more desperate and a little more just like forthcoming. Like, hey, I would love to give you money. Just call me back. Like, you, you already have my business. Like, I will come whenever you I'll, want me I'll to. set me up in a back alley. <laughs> yeah. I don't just care. Just let me have a massage. And they won't call me back. And they are trash. That guy gets it. Yeah. So Massage-ity. I'm triggered. I can't get a massage in this town. Okay. This episode is sponsored by BetterHelp. If you're thinking of starting therapy, give BetterHelp a try. Um, I did therapy. We did we did couples therapy, didn't we, Katie? We did. Yeah, mm-hmm. uh, we liked it. We did. We needed it. <laughs> yeah, I I liked. I wanted to do it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I, oh, I did. I did. Um, and BetterHelp is doing therapy in a new way. It's great. It's convenient, flexible, and suited to your schedule. Entirely online. You just fill out a brief questionnaire to get matched with a licensed therapist. You can switch therapists at any time for no additional charge. Um, therapy, I feel like, it's really benefited me personally. Also, our marriage. It's, uh, you know, we work out our bodies. I do. Do you? You work out that bod? Uh, barely. You got to work out the brain. Yeah, that is more important. That's what I'm trying to focus on. Mm-hmm. Big believer in therapy. I mean, my wife, Rachel, she is becoming a therapist. So if you're thinking of starting therapy, give BetterHelp a try. It's entirely online, design, designed to be convenient, flexible, and suited to your schedule. Just fill out a brief questionnaire to get matched with a licensed therapist and switch therapist at no additional charge. So get a break from your thoughts with BetterHelp. Visit betterhelp.com slash correct today to get 10% off your first month. In therapy, I learned that it's okay that Katie takes her time. (laughs) That's betterhelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash correct. I can't even read it fast. (laughs) (laughs) That's the sound of a new sale with Shopify. Oh, it's a nice sound. If you're selling or really doing anything online, which most of us are, I would encourage you to set up a store through Shopify. I recently set one up for some stuff I'm doing. And it is awesome. It's got all sorts of tools. Tools I didn't even know we were like allowed to have access to. Like it'll tell you where people in the world are at that are currently on your website. And you can just look like, oh, someone cool. from Montana is on my website right that now. That is fun. And yeah. you see someone, they're like down the street and you're like, ooh, that's, that's kind of scary. Uh-huh. That's kind of cool. <laughs> uh, Shopify is the commerce platform revolutionizing, revolutionizing millions of business worldwide. Jake uses it. I use it. Mm-hmm. It's how we sell the correct opinions merch. It's how we do so much of our online business because Shopify, it's just changing the game. It's got all of it. Put you in control of every sales channel. So whether you're selling you know, what do you like? What do you, what's your favorite item in the world? Oh, probably a TV remote. You, whether you're selling TV remotes, <laughs> Katie, what's your favorite item in the world? 
You. Uh, or you're can't selling. sell that no, on Shopify. That, but every, pretty much everything else you can. <laughs> All in one e-commerce platform. You're covered. Um, so sign up for a $1 per month trial period at shopify.com slash correct opinions, all lowercase. Go to shopify.com slash correct opinions to take your business to the next level today. Shopify.com slash what, Katie? Correct opinions. Wow. ka <laughs> That is the sound of Shopify. That is possibility powered by Shopify. Hey, uh, Jake, what's the game I, <laughs> where no one wins? I don't know. What is it, Katie? That's the waiting game. Oh, oh, boo. When it comes to hiring, <laughs> don't wait for a great talent to find you. Find them first with Indeed. When you're hiring, you need Indeed. Okay. Indeed is the hiring platform where you can attract, interview, and hire all in one pe- place. One piece. In one piece. <laughs> Instead of spending hours on multiple job sites searching for candidates with the multiple right job skills. <laughs> Indeed, a powerful hiring platform that can help you do it all. We streamline hiring with powerful tools that find you find you matched candidates <laughs> with, with instant match. Mm-hmm. Over 80%. <laughs> <laughs> you got this. Hi. Over 80% of employers get qualified candidates. Qualified? <laughs> quality. Quality candidates. Quality candidates. My eyes, I can't see. They're crying. Read! <laughs> Whose recipes in, on Indeed match their job descriptions? Whose recipe? <laughs> Is that what she said? <laughs> Better than saying resume. The moment <laughs> they sponsor a job according to Indeed data. US. Okay, Good. one of the things I love about Indeed is the instant match tools. Oh, I've actually hired talent with Indeed. It's very helpful. Um, you Candidates you invite to apply are three times more likely to apply to your job than candidates who only see it in search. So there's a lot of powerful tools in hiring with Indeed. And uh, you can hire anyone. Like maybe you could hire someone to teach you how to recite things, <laughs> Katie, or whatever you need. You need Indeed. So start hiring now with a $75 sponsored job credit to upgrade your job post at indeed.com slash tray offer good for limited time claim your 75 dollars credit now at indeed.com slash tray just go to indeed.com slash tray and support the show tell them we sent you indeed.com slash tray terms and conditions apply need to hire you need my uh my trigger speaking of customer service is you ever you ever gone to like a trusted loved one and complained and they don't like agree with you yeah you really want you yeah. know, like it's he not does a time this to me all the time. I'll be like, I was like, you don't realize I went, I just went, you know, to CVS. I checked out. I was trying my best to be nice to this person. They never looked, they never looked me in the eyes once. They're very rude to me. And she's like, well, maybe they're just having a, a, a tough day. And I'm yeah. like, no, you're supposed to agree that that's ridiculous. <laughs> And that triggers me. You, you ever got, you ever done that? You should marry a social worker. Oh, oh yeah, they oh, can see it from every standpoint. They are so empathetic. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that's yeah. yeah. Just like just agree. She, Katie, like we said she likes to doctor fill every situation. Like maybe they're, well, maybe they grew up in a tough environment and mm-hmm. parents are crying. Like they're just annoying. Let's yeah. Just <laughs> help me out. Agree with that. Did you, anything triggered you this past week? Well, it's more so. Just when I get triggered, we were talking about it backstage. Just I feel like when I get triggered to a customer service person or someone in my mind, what is coming across, and then what I tell you after, I'll be like, <laughs> Yeah, I, they wouldn't help me. I didn't understand. Da, da, da. I said this and this, and you're like, You didn't say that. <laughs> oh, I looked at it. him and I said, You I'm better like, find a new job because I'm reporting you. Yeah. Like, you didn't say that. Like, yeah, no. where's, our, where's our like people pleasers at? She'll come home. She's like, That was re- the most ridiculous, rudest person. I was like, I, I should get, I should report them. I was like, Did you say all that? She's like, No, I told him have a nice day. <laughs> <laughs> there well, like, was if I one say time. something slightly rude. There it's was like one in such time. a nice way. <laughs> yeah, there was one time. I forget the scenario. She, she was getting real frustrated with some altercation and she just went well I don't really appreciate the way this has been done <laughs> and she walked out she's like did I cross the line there <laughs> I was like you were so nice to them yeah. I'm the same Katie are you the same way like even with like text or emails like I'm gonna really let them know how I feel exclamation point no backspace period <laughs> <laughs> that should send the message I mean business yeah, yeah. yeah. I basically cussed only. them out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't believe I did that. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah. I'm in a bad mood if I'm in instances with periods, I would say. Good to know. <laughs> Not good. good to know. <laughs> um, okay, moving right along. Derek, we good for it? We're going to show a, 
a few video segments. We we found our new favorite thing on the internet, yeah. um, the Bible Bee. <laughs> you want to listen to that today? I think it came yeah, out today, I don't right? Know if anyone, everyone here, but we grew up. I was quizzed on the Bible, and these sweet kids um, were getting quizzed on the Bible. And uh, we're going to show those videos, Derek, whenever you're ready. Bible oh, yeah. B. If you all saw that great. last week. Oh, we got it? Oh, yeah, just. Oh, yeah, play it. This is the Bible B. 1 Corinthians 10.31. Yes, please recite. 1 Corinthians 10.31. Therefore, whether you eat or drink or whatever you do, do all to the glory of God. 1 Corinthians 10.31. Dang. You know, that scripture, Mia, was a scripture in my junior high football team. We would say that before every well, practice not. and before every day. We would say, therefore, I play whether, football, you by eat, the way. whether you drink or whether you play football, whatever you do, do all to the glory of God. David played tailback on that team. Every time he went out on the field, he would say, get your tailback on the bench, boy. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Uh, hey, Mia, congratulations. You got 500 points. Yeah! <laughs> Mia's like, can I just get the points? Yeah. Can he not talk about football and the tailback? Every trip? every white Christian dude in America has, has to bring it back to high school football. Yeah. Uh, that scripture reminds me of uh, Friday nights. <laughs> every night I put on the black tape, John 316. Yeah. Were those guys twins? Uh, yeah, there's a little oh, twin yeah. action going on. Oh, yeah. It, yeah, they were probably going to be like, Genesis 1-1, yeah, in the beginning. Uh, you know... I used to play high school baseball. We had a lot of big innings. Um, yeah. That was before football season, which I also played. Uh, yeah. That's my twin over there. You know, I wanted to kill him. <laughs> but unlike Cain and Abel, we loved each other. <clears throat> Just can't help themselves. I love that Mia didn't even like give like a fake laugh at the tailback joke. She's like, like, okay, these yeah, guys are weird me out. Like, Five are, I'm here to me. get the job done. <laughs> yeah. Play the one, play the kid who recites the whole New Testament. Oh one. my gosh. Yeah, dude. It's a, it's a couple the, hours long, but we're in a power group. Yeah. I don't know. No, I mean the, the books. Play, is this the one? No, no, no. Is that the one? Oh, there it is, baby. Oh, yeah. Give it to us. <laughs> Give it to us. Uh, no twins this time. Here's our next passage. Keep yourselves in the love of God. Let's go, Bowtie. Exactly. Let's go, Bo. Bo Cut. June 1, 20 to 21. That is correct. Please recite it. Many of those Jews. Jude 1, 20 to 21. But you, beloved, building yourselves Dude, up on your most holy sad. faith. Focus, focus. Come on. Praying in the Holy Spirit. Find it. Keep yourselves in the love of Great God, God. waiting anxiously for the mercy of our Lord Jesus Christ. He's going full slum dog right now. <laughs> to eternal life. Jude 1, 20.1. It's like Rain Man. Yeah. <laughs> Zachary. Oh this is great. Oh, there's twin. Zachary, so I hear that you can talk so fast that people can call you an auctioneer. Yeah. But you recite those passages very clearly and very so slowly and very focused. You do a great job. Are you going to say that not challenge him to say something Ooh. for us? Ooh. Do you want to say something for us? Auction your stuff? No, wait, Zach. You've got a thousand baseball cards, right? More. Oh, 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 oh. I didn't know so much about Zach. Yeah. <laughs> Don't have to put me in my back pocket. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> Can you give us some recitation of something really fast? I can say the books in the New Testament. No, you can't. Go off, Zach. In one breath. <laughs> okay, let's hear this. Go. Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, Acts, Luke, Romans, first second Corinthians, Galatians, Galatians, Philippians, Colossians, first second Colossians, first second Philippians, Acts, Philippians, Hebrews, James, first second Peter, first second third John, Jude, Revelation. Oh my God! Hey! You know that? Wow. No, that's wow. not. All right, we're good, we're good. Give us for Zachary right there. That was Can you not, do it? That was not how an auctioneer would do it, by the yeah, way. Yeah, yeah. I've been to a lot of county fairs. They don't talk like that. <laughs> Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Hey, good one, you two here. First thing, really, you're going to be in the Lebanon's closet. You can't recite all of them? No. Wow. I played sports, unlike Zach, so I was, <laughs> I was busy during that time. That's funny, man. Where, do no, you, where can you watch this? Yeah. Um, it's kind of off-brand, but HBO Max. <laughs> <laughs> that is off-brand. <laughs> 
Did you believe me? <laughs> For a second. Yeah. <laughs> For a second. I don't know. Uh, this seems like something Derek's aunt would know where to yeah, find yeah, it. Yeah, she's got it. Aunt Linda would find it. Linda, that's a little bit of for the thing. I, I, know the, I know all the, you know, how many, all 27. <laughs> Good job. Yeah, there we go. We got a Bible nerd there. What's she saying? She confirmed your answer? She confirmed it. Thank how you. How many in the Old Testament? 39. She confirmed it. Good enough for me. <laughs> oh, I'm the real deal, dude. I was raised... <laughs> I you what you listen to growing up the radio I, I I drove to school with Matthew Mark Luke and John <laughs> me me and Zachary did <laughs> be like this I had the straight across yeah you did I've seen pictures. I had the straight across for sure my my haircut um, until like fourth grade was like a like a presidential. Remember the gel that was, was big cute. in like the nineties that was boy. made of it was like concrete in your hair that was like <laughs> I it was a presidential fully slicked and I finally was bullied enough where I was like you, we gotta change this we got it um, so I went with the with just the straight down the straight down <laughs> little Jim Carrey vibes some of that gel I feel like was different that's got to be like banned now because I would come out of great clips with a haircut in fourth grade and it would like hurt your hand yes. to touch it it was like concrete. It was like, you ever got a, uh, like a dip cone? <laughs> yeah, like the turtle shell. Yeah, yeah. and you're like, oh, it, the chocolate's so hard now. <laughs> that was my head. <laughs> did your, Small town vibes. Did your mom do your hair every day? She oh, put yeah. In and brush Slicked it? it down. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> yeah. Well, <laughs> she taught me there were 66 bu- books in the Bible. When did you Adds guys up. start picking out your own clothes for school? Um, kindergarten? Whoa! Very early. Wow. Yeah, I don't know. that's actually I a. Oh, I have a good story with that. We have I, stories. I have a good story with that. Wait. I was so particular. Oh uh, wait, about is it a thirty-second story? Oh yeah! <laughs> Let's do it. It's time. <laughs> okay, perfect. For my favorite segment, is that the story? It's sure. Yeah. yeah okay, thirty sure. seconds. Derek's getting us set up. And it's about picking out your own outfits in kindergarten. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Can't wait. Derek, you, you tell us when you're ready. We ready? ready? And on Katie's action, 30. tell us a story in 30 seconds. Um, I was really particular 20. and I wanted to... <laughs> Focus. <laughs> take out my own clothes. 20. And I would 21. cry every morning even if, I, even if I picked it out. So my dad went to Goodwill and he picked out a really ugly dress. And he told me that if I cried about the clothes 13. that I picked out, 12. then I have to wear this dress to school. <laughs> But then I would still <laughs> wake up in the morning Six, and be upset five, about my clothes. Four, but I. <laughs> no. <laughs> couldn't close. Couldn't close. <laughs> so the year was 1997. <laughs> and then I remember this one day I had this outfit. I went to board kindergarten and. <laughs> what was the end? But I really, I was so proud of my outfits in kindergarten that my teachers would <laughs> comment on them and they would. Show me a quicker. Ra- they wow! <laughs> <laughs> they would show me around to the other teachers. Oh wow! <laughs> you were destined to model. Holy wow! Cow. So I, that was man. They created a monster. I think they <laughs> did, honestly. Look at her. I was like expecting to show up looking pristine. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Clothes were nice. They weren't wrinkled. No, my dad. Did look like you co-slept all night? <laughs> <laughs> my dad ironed our clothes every night. Wow. Really? He did. Oh, it's cute, I guess. Yeah. yeah. I don't oh, know. that's cute. Yeah. <laughs> that's what you're gonna do. <laughs> he irons your clothes every night. Yeah. So Steamer. be ready for the for the morning. Uh-huh. Steamer's amazing. Okay. It's thirty seconds. <laughs> I don't even care if my own clothes are wrinkled. Let alone <laughs> I know. <the> child. <laughs> Um, okay, let's. Uh, this has been fun. Let's let's uh, let's get to a little Q and A with y'all because we want to talk to y'all. Um, if we can have our our uh, my team help us out here, we're gonna do a little Q and A. Because y'all are here. We're hanging out. So give yourself a round of applause. Thank you, guys. Thanks for being here. Appreciate it. Seriously, so much fun. Appreciate y'all. My boy, Mikey. Give it up for Mikey. Hey, Mikey. Woo! That's just his stage name because of the mic situation. <laughs> uh, we'll, we'll, we want to talk to a few of y'all. Who has a question? Loud and proud. Where, over here? Did you see one over here? Yeah, over here? Back there? Oh, back there. Check, check. Uh, May need to come up a little bit. I don't yeah. know if the mic. <clears throat> no, no, we got it. We got Maybe it. halfway. We've figured this out. What's up, my man? Wow, he's not moving. What's your name? Hey, name's John. What's up, John? Not much. Out of, uh, from the Bible or what? <laughs> Fourth book, nothing like it. 
so I've got a friend who has a fantasy football team, and, and we talked about fantasy earlier, so I just want um, just some advice on if he has a good team or not. Perfect. Uh, so here's his team. Wait, uh, how many teams are in the league? Uh, 14. Got it. Yep. So Patrick Mahomes is his quarterback. Nice start. And then it goes Pollard, Hopkins, Judy, Komet, Smith-Schuster, and James Cook. And that's his team. What do you guys think? Yeah, he's going to be just fine. Yeah. Yeah, 14 team league. Yeah, he's great. I mean, she, she prefers more of the white people, but <laughs> uh, I, think that's, I think it's a solid team. What's his team name? I'll judge it by this. TK Big Buckets with a Z. Hey. Glad I asked. Yeah. I feel like that's a last name of any of the players. I thought that's TK, a no, yeah, you think Travis that's Kelsey. That's a legal last name. Oh, Travis um, Kelsey. That's what it is. Buckets. Whoa, take it easy. Oh, Travis <laughs> Kelsey. Travis Kelsey. I saw he was injured. Sad. <laughs> I he learned that after sitting out here. <laughs> Good job keeping up the football. Okay, yeah. who else? Who else? I got a question about uh, stand up comedy. Cool. What's up? Have you ever, uh, before you started doing like arenas and like the, the, the big shows that you've done in comedy clubs, did you ever do a show that you absolutely bombed? Yeah, what's your name, man? Caleb. What's up, Caleb? Yeah. Thanks for being here. Um, I, do you have answers? I have, I'll, I'll I've, yeah, I'm thinking of yours. When for sure, man. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> or no, that's, no, sorry, that's bad. I wasn't even there. This is at the very beginning. I will beginning. say, like, I'm lucky because I, I grew up comedically on the internet so like I bombed on the internet a lot I did a lot of weird stuff making content in places like I got hired to come make vines on the red carpet I was like Ed Sheeran and Taylor Swift were like 10 feet from me as I'm like you know, it's like <laughs> weird experiences that I got in the stand up world and yeah man, I mean so many like just quick you know you get off stage it's brutal but uh, one of my favorite unique stories sad was I got flown out to do a comedy show for the Memphis Memphis Grizzlies. It was like family fun night. They, they're on the intercom like, stay after the game. Trey Kennedy's doing a comedy show. And then in the midst of all this game, Kobe Bryant died. I'm not kidding. You know, we all know what happened. Horrific. And so they're like, my people are telling me like, we're not even sure if this is happening, blah, blah, and then lo and behold it happened, and I remember the guy gave me the mic, he's like, just do your best. You know? <laughs> and I tried to make people laugh, like, at a NBA game, <laughs> hours after Kobe died, so. <laughs> that didn't go well. <laughs> <laughs> That's all time, That's wild. That's brutal. I don't know if I've had an entire show go poorly, but definitely jokes all the time. I tried to tell a Trump joke in Louisville one time. That was one of the dumbest things I've ever done. Um, don't do it down in Stanley. You know. <laughs> and then there was a time in Phoenix, I think it was like April of 2021. I still remember it fondly. I, maybe you guys have heard on the podcast, like I had a, you know several dogs. We would get them from the pound and then they would get run over and we'd go back and get more. And then we were like, all right, we really don't wanna lose this dog. So we uh, tied it to the trampoline, get back one weekend and the dog had ran away with the trampoline. And which is a lot to, to lose both those things when you're nine, you know, it was a bummer a weekend. Anyway, I try to make all this funny, but uh, everyone loves dogs and they weren't loving like, yeah. And then Cookie died like, okay, could you stop? I think. Um, so kind of what you're feeling right now, yeah, the whole place felt <laughs> for the whole time. So yeah, you I learn, remember. but it's scary, but that's how you get better. And I too, Caleb, I can tell too, you, you, uh, you're one of our black brothers and sisters out here tonight. I'm one of them, yeah. Let's go, man. <laughs> one of the, the first time, when I was new to stand up years ago, the first time I ever felt like I just crushed it was an all black crowd. I, I was just like, wow, they're giving me love. They're showing me love. And then the first time I ever bombed really bad was an all-black crowd. Because I showed up, I, I, everything would be going well, and I was like, I saw the all-black crowd, I was like, these are my, these are my people. <laughs> <laughs> I got up there, man. I started, I opened up with a joke about, uh, it was right when it was super hot, the uh, Queer Eye for the Straight Guy, that show on Netflix. I made some joke about that, and I learned real quick, black people do not watch that show. <laughs> and they looked at me like I was talking another language, and I just fell apart. And by the end of the set, they were like laughing at me. <laughs> uh, and then the comic after me, she was there. <laughs> the comic after me got up on stage and 
white dude. He's like, I'm sure it's tough to trust another, another white face after that performance. <laughs> and I just left the building. I left. <laughs> nah, so there's a lot of those experiences, but they help because they turn you into a, a sociopath who doesn't care about embarrassment anymore. <laughs> Sorry, one last one. I thought of that. Trey and I actually did together. Uh, surely we've talked about this in the podcast at some point, but uh, it was kind of during COVID times. My old university, Southwest Baptist, reached out. Like, we'd love to have Trey and Jake do a show. We're like, well, that'd be kind of fun. And they're like, we don't want you to come here. Just do it virtually. COVID virtual show. Yeah. It's like, okay. And uh, yeah, it'd be fun. We don't have anything going on Tuesday. Let's do it anyway. And so... We sit down, we kind of go over what we're going to do, half of your jokes, half of my jokes. Yeah, we're feeling good. And we sit in front of this, you know, it's like a Zoom meeting where we are um, just trying to do comedy. And But what the students didn't know is their chat, we could also see. So we're trying to perform and we're seeing what they're saying about us. <laughs> and what was the one that really got us? The very us? first, but I mean, five minutes popped up and said, is this all it is? <laughs> And we had 55 minutes remaining. <laughs> I, was like, I don't think people told them it was a comedy show. Like, I don't know what they came in expecting. I don't know if they get extra credit for this. I mean, we, yeah. We go a whole other rabbit hole is just like virtual comedy shows during quarantine. That should have never been done. I humiliated, my, humiliated myself in a number of Zoom conference <laughs> calls. Uh, but thanks for the question, man. I appreciate it. Who else we got? Okay, right here. What's up? What's up? Man, that was brutal. What's your name? Hello, I'm Elizabeth from Colorado. What's up, Elizabeth? <laughs> and my question is actually for Katie. A little bit more of a serious one. Um, ever since the first time you were on the podcast, you've been very inspirational to me. As a homeschooled Christian girl, I was very much taught you're quiet and you're gentle and you're not independent and strong. That's what the girls of the world do. And I think that you have seemed to find a balance of being very kind and sweet, but very strong and confident. I love how you kind of keep the guys in line. Mm. And so I have two teenage daughters and would love any advice you would have that I could pass on to them so they could grow up to be like you. Dang. That is very sweet. <laughs> Thank you. Um, she speaks up enough. We don't need to encourage it a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I've found my voice since I've gotten married. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, that's, no I, that's really kind. I think that's really insightful. It's spot on. Yeah, that's very sweet. I mean, I don't know, have too much advice because I feel like my parents probably helped me a lot. Or, um, But, I mean, it sounds like you are already doing a great job. But, I mean, I think that I am a quieter person naturally. Um, and so having people, like, encourage me to have a voice um, Trey does that, and for, I have other friends that do that, so that h helps a lot. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yeah. Sweet question. Yeah. Well, someone asked me a question like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Man, Jake, you're just so perfectly blended. How do you do it? How do you do it? I want my sons to be like you, and my sons' sons. We got one. Oh. Okay, what's up? Sorry, I just grabbed it behind her. Uh, I, my name's Joan. Hi. And um, I'm taking Katie's side as well. <clears throat> a little bit triggered. Do you know how big 10 centimeters is? Yes. For this whole question. Oh, I love presence? this. <laughs> what is the 10 centimeters in question? Is that, is that Trey or is that Katie? <laughs> Definitely Katie. <laughs> what are we talking about? Do you know? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Answer the question. <laughs> I, what? No, it's, it's for him. Okay. No. Yeah, that's what I'm like. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I will. I'm going to give Katie her props. She uh, kind of props, kind of she played herself. She was big on like, um, she's she's got a, uh, she's got a, fl a little sprinkle of that hippie, like, I don't want all the meds, I kind of want to do it, but like, whatever. A little sprinkle. A little sprinkle. <laughs> and so, um, she's like, I really want to kind of wait till the last minute for the epidural. She's like, I don't, I don't want to go for Not it. Not too last minute. But, but she kind of waited maybe too last minute, because by the time she was like, give me the epidural! They were like, well, it, I mean, they're busy, it's going to take a while. And she, oh. she kind of low-key gave a full-blown natural birth, and uh, which, yeah. <laughs> Wish well, I would have yeah. done that. Which was, it was a lot for me too. I was like, oh. <laughs> yeah. 
I was like put giving her a massage like how long is this gonna take <laughs> yeah um yeah so but, yeah add that on top of it a natural birth nine pounds with a nine, pound nine pounds and and his hand was like this and his hand was like that um uh, it was yeah. yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, yes. Yes. <laughs> this is a rally tray. You don't know. <laughs> wow. Yeah. It's getting wild. Oh, wait. We got I wish I would have known that. People. You should have brought that evidence to the court. I yeah. should have. You know. It was so funny Play too. Play my cards happened. right. The doctor's like, yeah, his hand was part of it too. It's like, <laughs> great. Yeah. What's up? What's your name, man? What's going on? Uh, Mark. Uh, just love the Mood Swings YouTube channel. Thanks. Thanks, brother. Uh, what's your favorite course locally? And, uh, Jake, how many strokes are you giving try? Oh. I, favorite course locally. Well, we just joined one, which um, we joined it right in time for them to tear it all down, which has been really cool. Um, so my favorite Good course price. that, yeah, is just doing a ton of construction. It's got to be Brookridge. Yeah. Um, but I, uh, you just played a really, you played the one where Mahomes played recently, right? Yeah. Was that one nice? Mood Swings is our golf channel. We, oh, yeah. we got into golf went around and it's, it's been a fun like side project for us for sure brokerage lets us shoot out there it's great i got an opportunity so i we got into golf on tour because you you're out there and it started to you start to realize like okay we have two shows in greensboro north, north carolina we're busy from five to midnight what in the world do we do from the time we wake up till five so see greensboro see greensboro, walk around you know Tell Katie how proud I am of her. For the <laughs> and so golf was, we got into it. We got into it. Naturally, we started making content. And I just am so bad. And Jake's gotten so good. And it's... it's Last couple of videos, you've been holding your own, though. Yeah, You're decent, trending like, upwards. Yeah, it's nice. Um, I, I'm just a head case. I'm not very good. I forgot what I was going with it. Oh, and then I got asked, um, one of my... Uh, one of my buddies, Chris Lane, country artist, uh, some of you might be familiar, he came to town. He's like, come golf with me, man. My, a buddy of mine's got us at Wolf Creek. You know, Wolf Creek, it's like a, one of the very fancy, exclusive courses, like in Olathe or whatever. It's whim it's men only, which is hilarious. Like, women wow. literally aren't allowed on the property. Well, no wonder so you I was like, I'll be there. <laughs> <laughs> no. Which is weird, but anyway. It's like, I, I like to golf, but I still can't come around to all the, th like, Make sure you have a collared shirt and all that. I just it annoys me. So we show up, and these guys are all like borderline professional golfers. And oh, I, no. I just embarrassed myself for five hours. Oh, no. <laughs> I mean, it was so bad, um, and I, I will never. The guy who got us on the course is like a former Chiefs player, mm. and I'll never talk to see talk to that guy again because <laughs> I lost fifty balls. It was so <laughs> embarrassing. So. But Jake's gone pretty good. Yeah, hey, fun question. Um, yeah, it's it's fun. It's great. A great way to pass the time. You like golf? That's it. Um, uh, no, I do not play. <laughs> <laughs> we got another Mikey? What's going on? What's up? What's your name? What's going on? My name is Kathy, and I was at your white wedding in Parkville. Let's go. Yeah. Thanks for being I there. I still don't understand it. <laughs> Can you, you explain that to did me? Did you come to the show? No, you were going to give me one ticket. I had to pay for this. I'm here. Wait, did you come to the show a few weeks ago? <laughs> no, you were going to give me one ticket. Why would I come oh, by I, myself? Oh, no. Where's the manager? Yeah. Where's the manager? Uh, you should have... pay my own way. <laughs> <laughs> Kathy, what, you were at the, uh, the white people wedding shoot. You came to the show. Parkville. The shoot. I was in Parkville. Parkville was beautiful. It was amazing. It was great. Uh, I'm sad you couldn't make it to the show. You were supposed to be there. By myself? I mean, I, I don't know. Free ticket's a free just, ticket. I mean. All right, listen. Just explain <laughs> what that was about. That was it. about taking advantage of you. <laughs> <laughs> and it worked. <laughs> no, that was uh, at the show. We did this whole, uh, if you came to the show, White People Weddings, there's a video in the back. It's hilarious. It's amazing. And if you, we, we invited people locally to come be extras in the shoot. Of course, uh, Aiden was there and her, his mother. <laughs> It was a blast. So, um, and it was showed at the comedy show, part of the Grow Up Tour, uh, on, on the road. Can you show so. it now? I want to see you in that dress. It was at the show a few weeks ago. I'm I sad know. you couldn't be there. <laughs> Don't you have it on video? <laughs> it was at the show. <laughs> <laughs> we want to see you in the dress. 
Well, we don't, though. Uh, yeah. <laughs> do you have any other questions? Or oh, we're done with Kathy. Okay. I was I was excited to keep talking to her. What's up, bro? Uh, so I'm Greenskeeper Ian. Hey, Jake. What's oh, up, what's up, up dude? Dude, we met Ian <laughs> very shooting golf content on the course. The very first video we ever filmed. Ian was there. And he didn't know who we were at all. We explained it, and now he's here. It's <laughs> awesome. What's up, man? He's even got like his sunglasses on his hat. He's ready to mow a green right now. Yeah. <laughs> I just What's got up, work at like three, so it, I went to bed and then came here. What's up, dude? Um, so last week after I talked to Jake, not 30 minutes after I talked to you on 18, um, for lack of better terms, I had a threatened to be have threatened to have a club shoved up my. Okay. Was it Kathy? <laughs> 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 what I, happened? What happened? I did. He gave her two tickets to golf. <laughs> <laughs> and I kind of did the wrong thing. I laughed because I thought they were joking, and it just escalated. And I about got shoved off the green, and I got cussed out. What would you guys have done? Because I don't know how Wait, to approach that situation. Wow. What, so they're upset. You were like trying to water or something, yeah, and they yeah. got mad at you. Absolutely. I took two title boxing classes, so <laughs> I would have been just fine. <laughs> Katie didn't even use an epidural, so she could have. <laughs> That's why. Out of all three of us for a fight, I, you might want to pick me. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> She's tall. <laughs> Good length. That's insane. So on 18, like they're wrapping up the round, yeah. and they, they got physical with you. I never yeah. thought to pick a fight with the greenskeeper. Yeah. yeah. I mean, like, I mean... To, to be fair, I might just advise you to take it because I, I feel like I've wrapped up 18 and I was like, I just need to hit somebody. <laughs> so maybe, maybe you just be there for him. Like, I, I'm here for you, man. Yeah, just take a shot. Like, Dude. I originally just thought they were joking, so I started laughing and then they started cussing. And I was Are like, you laughing oh, to me? <laughs> That's just, wild, like, man. And it flipped a switch and I hope my boss doesn't hear this. I'll probably get in trouble if I do, but <laughs> it'll be all right. So. Oh, nah, you're the man. You're the for Ian. That's fun to hear. out on the course. And now he's here. Thank you, man. It he's is man. fun All right. that we saw Ian and we're having to explain it. Like, we hadn't made a single YouTube video yet, and we're trying to explain it to him. And he thought it was cool, which no one else was <laughs> yeah. that day. Like, yeah, he's the man. Wait, we got a question right up? They've got it right now. Oh, we got one? Okay, then we'll go here. Cool. Hi, um, I'm Jordan. My friend here's husband gets confused for you all the time. You guys look very similar. <laughs> um, and we are kind of curious if it be possible to get like a photo or a video at some point tonight. To try to trick everybody to think. Is he here out. tonight? Um, no, <laughs> but we have a photo of him. <laughs> cool prank. So get, a, get a photo of we me like a with the photo of him. Like a picture and like post it online, and then maybe nobody would know it was you, or maybe everybody would. <laughs> yeah, y'all just look so that similar. What's your husband's he, name? Will. Will. Yeah. That's always Will. You should. It's it's well, weird. Well, we I don't look that unique, unfortunately. <laughs> The amount of times I get, I never thought, I didn't get, my whole life I don't a have lot? a, what? Do you get that a lot? Yes, I never, my whole life I never had like a celeb look like or everything, but I started getting blown up. Any white guy with a brown beard, they're like. I, I swear it's not just that. Like you, y'all really do look similar. I've met a couple guys on the road. I'm like, yeah, we do. We yeah. do. <laughs> we really do. You look unique. Thank you. That, that was all Thank I had. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. I'd love to meet him. Let's 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 go play golf with Ian or something. Yeah. We can fight Ian <laughs> together. What's up, dude? What's your name? Um, my name's Joe. So I actually know this guy. Play music with him in church. So. Oh, dude. Mikey, let's go. Dude, I know. Uh, dude, what's up, bro? Um, I'm from a big. I'm third of eight. Uh, big Christian family. So appreciate all the. The, uh, the jokes to that. I, you had the thing with dogs. We had it with birds in my family. We, birds? We, we went through parakeets like once a month. It was like, I don't know if it's like a big Christian family thing or what. I don't think it is. Parakeet. <laughs> Love how I was trying oh. to relate to you, dude. You had dogs, I had parakeets. Yeah. Same <laughs> thing going on. Same Christian thing. So we, we do have a question. This is my wife, Kimmy. Who's What's up, Kimmy? Loves watching the podcast. Thank you, thank you, thank late. you. So loves parakeets. Here's the question. Okay, thanks for the setup. Okay, oh. so <laughs> um, I'm also embarrassed because I've sent you a video for like a fan vid, but to like a wrong email, I think. And so <laughs> if you've heard this question before, you know, I'm sorry. But no, no, okay. you're fine. So as my husband Joe said, 
sheltered, big family, yeah. not sheltered. No sports in my high school. No sports? sports. No. no sports. Very just small, small Catholic. Small. Just birds bird only. Training. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Their grade system was based on character. Yep. Oh, my gosh. Yes. Grades were based on character? Peace, patience, kindness. You guys know this stuff. <laughs> wow. That's, that's next level. Um, that's so, something else. So the question is sheltered, not sheltered. But we're both, you know, we're trying to live a good Christian life. And we actually find um, my husband is more lenient in areas where he was like grown strict. yeah where he was strict his parents were strict yeah, he hunts birds and now and I'm more <laughs> I'm more strict I'm more strict in areas where my parents were lenient with like how much screen time I had a TV in every room in my house and they didn't have one and so I but I'm the one really like trying to guard the screen time with the kids sure sure and he's more like put sure. a movie yeah, on movie. <laughs> make some popcorn which I love the popcorn Put, give him more so candy, ice cream. Take him to get ice cream today. <laughs> Anyways. He loves sorry, bird long, seed. Long, yeah. <laughs> long backstory, <laughs> sorry. The question is, coming from a similar sheltered, less sheltered, how do you plan to raise your kids? And, Great question. And do you like experience that tension oh. where like maybe you're For more like... A little bit, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I was raised very sheltered and tense. You better make all A's super strict and her yeah like you heard me joke earlier her family's just kind of like we we don't we don't even, we haven't even talked to one of the kids in a while we don't know where they are it's not that um, extreme <laughs> no it is and it's like it's a good happy medium though and i think i hope we can meet in the middle but um it's been just flavors of that you know where i'm like all right he's got to sleep through the night let's just shut the doors and turn off the monitor, and we'll see him in the morning. <laughs> and like she's like, oh like my gosh. Five months old. I'm uh, like, well, he needs like, to burp. That's why he's crying. He needs to hold him. He's feel he has anxiety, I think. <laughs> and so we've already got a little tension there, but that's going to get very interesting. We've started to talk about that when... Yeah, I feel it, like it's it, he's so little now, it's like hard it to... It feels like you have a pet when no. you have like a six-month-old. Like, nothing I say matters. You just like say crazy stuff, you know. Um, what are you guys going to do about the bird seed situation? <laughs> well, she's always like, it's a choking hazard. I'm like, it's the source of life. Yeah. The birds. <laughs> uh, so that's a whole thing. But... Um, yeah, I mean, just listen to future episodes and maybe Judge Jake will help us figure it How out. How do we raise our kids? Go. Yeah. Go. <laughs> figure it out. Um, but no, it's, uh, I, I, th I think like any good couple, we'll take f the pros and cons from both of our experiences. And, uh, you know, we're on the same page about a lot of things, but um, certain things I'm maybe too far this way on, she'll help me and vice versa. So it's going to be, as you know, a struggle. Because uh, how old are you? You said five and three? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So... Yeah. They, they use the iPad. They use the iPad, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> nice. I love we the did. iPad. We did for the first time. We were driving on the road, and he was screaming, like, yo, Katie, let's YouTube Coco Melon and see what happens. <laughs> he didn't watch it. He's too late. Not yet. I'll we'll no. get there. Um, do we have anything? One, more, one or two more questions? Yeah, this guy right here, but you got one. Two more. So let's, let's, can we do this one, this one, this one? Three more. Okay. Done. Right there. <laughs> What's up? Uh, hello. I'm Hannah. I live in... Gladstone, Missouri. Let's go Gladstone. Okay. I had a question for the dudes. Uh, what's the last home project that you did that made you really feel like a man? <laughs> <laughs> that is a great, great question. That's a great question. <laughs> the last for home project. Example, uh, I felt like a man when I got up on my roof and patched a hole. Wow. Let's go. Whoa. Might hire you out. Come to Shawnee. Yeah, so I was going to say. I'm famous for... Avoiding home projects at all costs. Oh, yeah. Why do it when yeah. pianos of the world will do it I don't know if I'll feel this way. Have you ever grown up with, like, one of my biggest flaws, supposedly, as a kid? It's, like, it stayed with me until an adult. So I'm, like, okay, it's just who I am. Like, my dad was – my dad is – he could, like, wire this whole place and plumb it. And, like, he's, he's that dad, right? Anything. And he tried to raise me, like, let's go fix this, fix that. And he – he tells a story of when we were like four and he's like, we're going to build a birdhouse. And he said, within 10 minutes, I go, can't we just buy one? <laughs> <laughs> and that's like, to this day, I'm just like, dude, just pay someone. To, I, it doesn't, I just can't do it. And the, the last thing I did that made me real proud of myself, we have a, a sliding door somewhere in our home and it was like, kind of like dragging across the ground. And I looked up and saw a screw was loose and I went, <laughs> I was like, I fixed it. <laughs> <laughs> And I felt unbelievable. I was like, wow. Imagine if you did a Because I was supposed to be like, dude, you got to call somebody. The sliding door. Yeah. 
I mean, I'd, I'm horrible. Imagine if you patched a hole on our roof. I oh couldn't my gosh. do that. Yeah. The testosterone. I yeah. Know. I don't know if I could handle you, so maybe it's better. <laughs> I don't have anything close to screwing one screw in. I mean, that's next level, Thank but I, I kill a couple spiders a week. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's not bad. I, uh... I'm the uh, the assembler of the family. Uh, sure. This is before I discovered Task Rabbit, which now oh, just yes. yeah okay yeah, she has oh, wow. stock at Task Rabbit. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Holy cow. Um, but yeah, so like I I assembled all four of our dining room chairs. Rachel's like, wow, thank you so much. I'm like, don't sit in them too hard yet though. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, let's just like let's just yeah. test it let's out. Eat a light dinner. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you got, speaking of bugs, Katie, one of Katie's newfound like. Women have these fears, especially new moms. Hers is her random ones bugs. She'll be like, "Okay, it's well, a new mom thing." It's, it, there's like these weird fears where you know, just carrying is baby gonna be safe? And this random one, she'll be like, "Yeah, he uh, he started crying and like I couldn't really figure it out. Do you think he was bit by a bug?" <laughs> we lay there late at night. She's, mean, she'll lay there late at night. She'll be like, "What if he gets bit by a spider?" <laughs> We, and then last night we were cleaning out the garage, which is fairly manly. We were trying to clean out the garage. Really we found the garage, find spiders. She's like, a she, lot we, of she, spiders. She's like, we gotta take him inside. Like, are those are those poisonous spiders? I was I like, mean, if you bring up bugs one more time, we're gonna lose it. Any any woman, he was in his little bouncer seat on the ground, and there were just spiders. But even before him, she'll wake up in the night with like a bump. She'll be like, dude, are there bugs? bugs what else is bugs, it from? Bugs. All right, okay, we're, yeah. we're, all right, we're getting off topic. A couple will end up here. What's up? What's up? Hi, Joette. Hi, Joette. Um, so we live at Leewood adjacent, so 10 miles down the road in Lenexa. Okay. Come on. That was a joke. Uh, <laughs> I, I think Lenexa's cool. I was happy for you. Yeah. <laughs> we like it. We like it. Uh, mother of four, um, three of them over nine pounds, so fist bump, Katie. Woo! Dang. Wow, wow, impressive. Yeah. They're over nine pounds now, so. <laughs> yeah. Well, two of, two of them are sitting here, and um, I just wanted to thank you guys for what you're doing and having the kind of comedy that I can bring my 15-year-old daughter to. Cool. Uh, we like to do things as a family. Um, so I just wanted to say that and um, ask Jake if he could tell his uh, Trump joke that got bombed in Louisville. Um. <laughs> So oh, this, <laughs> this was... Thanks um, for saying that. That's really nice. Yeah, that is really cool. Uh, it was... I told this joke on, like, March 10th of 2020. So this is, like... You Election know. year. <laughs> yeah, that's what we all think. Yeah, Summer Olympics coming up. Um, no, so at that point, we had heard of COVID-19. We've heard of coronavirus. And it was, like, in China and, like, maybe Seattle. At that point, it was like, is it coming for the United States? So I don't remember how it went exactly. But basically, I had some joke where I was like, hey, I think no matter who you voted for, we can agree that this, like, uh, how did it go? Whatever. Basically, it's crazy. Uh, yeah, this is going good, huh? Um, <laughs> it's crazy how widespread uh, COVID is getting right now across the United States with Trump's typical policy of things made in China. I think it was a joke. And I was like, oh, wow, that's really clever. They'll appreciate that. <laughs> Not in Louisville. So, <laughs> something like that. That was great. All right, wrap it up here. What's up? What's up? Who we got? Oh, it's Kyle. What's up, Kyle? I know how to stand up. It's Kyle. Hello. Hey, Kyle. What's should up, I, man? Should I sit down? Should I stand up? Um, I, I work from home, too, so it's weird to see real people. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome. It's been a while. Um, I wanted to ask this for both, both the couples. Um, how many kids are you plan planning on having? Oh, nice. He's like, and can they sleep in our bed? <laughs> <laughs> We're, uh, yeah, we'll be on it. We're a big team of three. Uh-huh. Well, three kids, team of five. We're big <laughs> on three. She, I have, I grew up with the nuclear family. Two kids. Uh, she has, like I said, her family's crazy. Five kids. Wow. Wow, crazy. So, um, she wanted more. I was always team two, but, you know, God willing, I think three is probably most likely. But we'll see what happens. Yeah. You might have four. <laughs> <laughs> But you guys. I just said to Rachel, I think last week, we're not like looking to have kids anytime super soon, but I was just thinking about it and I was like, Rachel, I was just thinking like, if we for some reason like have triplets, 
we for sure like there has to be a reality show about us like the triplet triplets like yeah, yeah. just so you know oh, like, yeah, I'll, I'll executive produce it we'll yeah, yeah like yeah. just a heads up like that that will happen like that yeah. has to happen so I gave her the heads up there um, but it's, if everything happens normally I think I came from Live 2 Rachel came from 3 so we'll be somewhere in there plot you know, twist Trey is gonna film you if that happens yeah yeah, yeah. deal <laughs> oh yeah say less alright uh, so two and a half for Jake Two and a half. Five, yeah. Yeah, yeah. A nine pounder and a couple full grounds. <laughs> <laughs> y'all, thank y'all so much. This yeah, thanks so for being fun. here. Yeah. Seriously, it means the world. Um, it's so fun to do like these big fun shows like we did in the middle of a few weeks ago. Sorry, you missed it, Kathy. Yeah. But um, we love this is like so fun to do this intimate with like our like truest of deepest fans. It means the world. Y'all tune in every week. So, um, Thank you guys for coming out on a Wednesday, all the way from Lenexa or wherever you came. Uh, we love you guys. Good night. Thank, Thank you, you guys. Bye.